What is your favorite panel arrangement for KD Plasma? Now, this one here is just a poll, although it has 800 votes, and its options are a bit weird. Like, we have KD Plasma, and then we have Macintosh like, and then Windows 11 like with centered icons, which is also, technically speaking, Chrome OS like, and then a very generic others. But I'm sure the most interesting part is the others. So there is actually a whole thread with 60, 62 comments which uh, disappeared in front of my eyes because thank you Reddit. And I think uh, it is interesting to see what those are because in my opinion, the default layout of KD Plasma is really simple, but if we wanted to dare, there might be some better layouts. It's not like I'm sure there's a layout that's better for everyone, but it may be interesting. So. Let's see, the first comments, actually let's sort by top, so we know what's the most upvoted one, which is indeed the same one. This one says that configurability is key, and I mean, I fully agree with that. And actually, I think that being able to customize panels should be like the basis of a desktop. I can understand some desktops not offering that, but personally speaking, if you have a panel, maybe not like GNOME, which is a bar, which is different, but a panel, you should allow the user to customize the size. I'm looking at you, Windows 11. Panel at the left is actually a rather common one. There's even a screenshot uh, somewhere. No, what is this? After a bunch of panels at the bottom. So, okay, so there is a link, but I'm slightly confused what content this link uh, points at. Well, there's no screenshots, so I don't know. Having a panel on the left is actually rather common, and for a while there were proposals to uh, ask KDE to switch to a left side panel by default. And personally speaking, I wasn't even like fully against that. I was a bit, I had my doubts, but I wasn't against. Surely one thing that you do notice is that, is that many applets do not fit well a left aligned panel. As an example, the clock becomes so small and a simple solution is to use like the hour and the minutes one on top of another. And we should just implement that, I guess. There's third party plus mites doing that. And if we were to switch to a left side panel by default to, I mean, help us distinguish from Windows 2, well, in that case, those widgets should be adapted to work very well on a left side panel, obviously. Next one is a top panel. I've never understood the appeal of having a dock. I can understand top panel is, I think, slightly more rare compared to bottom panel and left panel, although I might be completely wrong, who knows. Uh, from developers, let's say that I've seen more developers with left panels compared to top panels. and. Um, I do fully see the appeal of a top panel and me myself, I've used a top panel for years and until I switched to the KDE's default. And I think the GNOME layout particularly works really well. Just having as an example, the time to be at the center, it's so nice. And then there is dock at the bottom, including this tray, which I think is uh, very close to latte dock uh, default. This is actually latte dock. This looks at the dock, but it's uh, it's actually very interesting as a latte dock con configuration. I wonder where the panel actually is because you do see all of the icons at the center, and then there is actually the system tray on the bottom right, but there is nothing that actually connects the dock and the system tray. For all we know, this could actually be two separate panels. And that would kind of help as an example, if you have a window, you would be able to click in this area here and actually click the window instead of a transparent panel. It's interesting. I'm like not against it. And I don't know, let's see the next one. It's the first one, which is very original. So thank you for that. Without a bar, you only need horizontal mouse prediction to select a tab. With a bar, you require horizontal and vertical precision. I'm confused. Event calendar at the bottom right also makes it possible to move the mouse to the bottom right and change the volume with your mouse wheel. Yes, that's possible with the system tray and it's pretty cool without ever removing your eye focus from whatever uh, you're doing. Oh, so, so that's actually pretty smart. So the idea is you've got the clock on the bottom right and if you just move the mouse all over bottom right and start scrolling, it will change the volume. 
because that is event calendar and scrolling on event calendar actually changes the volume. So you don't even have to seek for the volume buttons or the volume applet in the system tray. That's actually pretty smart, I like it. Next one, I have a floating mini taskbar with icons and system tray icons plus time. Then a second top bar with global menu that how to hides, which sounds very Macintosh is. Isn't it Macintosh? A floating mini taskbar with icons, a system tray. Okay, I guess system tray, the system tray is, is uh, on the top in Macintosh, but in this case it's in the panel. So that's the difference. And we've got a screenshot. This wallpaper seemed to be very nice. Let's zoom in. Yeah, it's a nice wallpaper, I like it. I gotta say that the position of the clock is amazing. Great job on that. It looks pretty cool. I did totally did not expect the top panel to not fill with, and it's an interesting concept. Uh, to be honest, I like it. It's both floating, both are floating. Now, right now, this doing this panel, yeah, this is surely latted up. Doing this with uh, default plasma panels isn't possible, but hopefully it will soon be. Just give me a little bit of time. I've done a merge request to actually make panels uh, be able to float. And hopefully, hopefully it will soon be ready for 5.25. So nice layout and I just love the time here. There's also a clock here. I, I wonder if it could have been, I don't know, maybe some thingy. Then there is Unity style with without latte. And uh, there's even instruction on how to do this one. So Unity style is interesting and it's actually the style that I first encountered because my first desktop was actually Unity. Both times that I started using Linux as a children and then as a teenager, I started with Unity. It's interesting. I especially liked the start menu that was not full screen, but pre uh, big enough and it, was, it had a pretty powerful search. I liked it. It was very nice. I personally prefer Plasma, but still, nonetheless, interesting. None. Okay, this is not the take that I expected, uh, but now that you say it, it makes sense. There's a tiny how to hidden panel. Well, it's not none then. At about 25% in on the bottom edge with scene tray clock and app launcher. I only have it there to put the system tray somewhere, really. It's place, uh, yes, because if you don't have the system tray, you're going to have some issues. As an example, I think notification might have some issues without any system tray. Maybe they don't even show up or they show up in the wrong spot. I don't remember. Something like that. Maybe also the clipboard. I think that if you don't have the system clipboard, my issues. Maybe not. It's placed there since most apps don't have any core actions on the spot, which is interesting. That's that's a fair point. Okay, this is one I didn't expect truly. Really. And then there is a Chrome OS layout with a bottom panel with the application launcher to the left, centered tasks and system tray clock on the right, like this. Oh, I recognize the wallpaper. This is one of my favorite PD Plasma wallpapers, actually. I, I just love this wallpaper. I asked for this wallpaper to be the default, but it wasn't uh, right at the given time. And it, it looks really nice. I really hope that the Plasma theme is the default one, because if so, then there is such a nice blur. Like you can see here, it has a green yellowish tint, where, whereas here it's purple. I just love it. And uh, for such a white monitor, I think this bottom panel is Perfect, approved. So we've got a panel on the bottom with pager task manager, panel on the top with application launcher, application icons, resource monitor, system tray, and clock. That's interesting. A default panel on top with just centered icons, so Chrome S but reversed, makes sense. Left panel, panel on the top, window dodging app icon dock at the right, window dodgy, dodging non-combining window list at the bottom right, Always on top panel at the top right, but offset to avoid window decoration buttons. Okay, this seemed to be so specific, but it, it has no screenshots. I, I gotta ask for a screenshot like this. I, I, I'm just so too, too curious. So you've got like four panels. So one at the right with the dock, another one always in the bottom right, so bottom right, okay. And then there's one always on the top. So even on top of Windows, at the top right, 
but I've said to avoid window decoration. I totally need a screenshot on this one. Follow the thread because this one seemed to be very interesting. And then there is the KDE1.x style with two panels. And uh, wait a second, KDE1.x style with two panels? I don't remember, was it the double? Uh, let's see if I can find any screenshot because I totally don't remember right now where the second panel is in kid. Ah, yes, 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 it was the double thingy. Where is it? Okay, so it's actually like this. So you've got on the top, the apps, opened apps, and on the bottom, the menu, the app icons, and the virtual desktops. Interesting layout. I, I totally had forgotten about that. Then we've got bottom set centered with auto hide, a latte dog set up to look like Unity, but with the trash can replaced by user switcher, user switcher, makes sense. One right panel, a tiny top panel that displays the system tray. On the left is only icons only task manager without any pins. Makes sense. And then Chromekit, of course, for a tiling manager experience. If you've got another Unity style here, which let's see, I gotta say though, a Unity style to me is also a top panel. If you don't have a top panel, mm, I don't think it's very Unity style with the default panel on the left, but no top bar, yeah. Such a waste of space, uh, I, can, I can understand that. I can understand not wanting to have a top panel. Let's see if there's any very interesting one. There is just this comment, Vanilla KD Plasma. This is the first one actually saying, no, I don't change my panels, thank you. <laughs> then what else? Quantum iridescent with latte and beauty line icons. Okay, very specific. <laughs> I, I just love these comments. That makes no sense whatsoever. Like trying to be an insult, but not quite being able to. I love KD, but Babilla is just ugly. Uh, sorry, <laughs> poor Babilla, I guess. <laughs> What else do we have? The first last one is no bottom dock or panel, no icons only task manager or anything, no title bars, a top panel with application menu bar and system tray. So, oh, interesting. W what's what's this? Okay, l l let me analyze a second this picture. So the the first word weird weird sorry thing is that we've got Windows open and half of the screen is just left open like sorry there's no window on the right part why is there any explanation that nope the, the wallpaper seem to be interesting it, it just has this pattern i like it it's very minimalistic i i wouldn't use it but I like it. and then what's what's really the reason for not having windows on is this like two monitors i don't think so it looks weird and then the style of the applications Okay, I can understand this one. I guess you achieve this. You can totally achieve a button-free terminal. This application here, what is this? Is this like, I guess, Spotify with custom CSS? This sim, yeah, Spotify, yeah. This is Spotify with custom, custom CSS, I guess. Very specific. The only thing, in my opinion, that doesn't work of this screenshot is this button here at the top. Let me zoom in here, this bottom here is inconsistent with everything else. Everything else works, but this button doesn't. And that was everything. And before you go, one thing, I from now on, all of the donations that I will receive on uh, PayPal will go for towards, sorry, uh, buying a new camera because as good as this one is, I think we can do better. I think we can do better. So I want to buy a new one. I'm investigating on which one to buy. And about that, there's one person that is quite helping me through email. So thank you a lot for that. And if you want to help me improve the quality of my videos truly, you can feel free to make a donations. And also thank you for all of those people that already did and do have a Patreon account and are donating to me because that helps. Thank you and see you tomorrow. Subscribe and like the videos, blah, 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 YouTuber stuff.